He was known as the godfather of black music. Clarence Avant died last night at his Los Angeles area home. He was 92. Flowers were delivered to his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Media there. Avant's influence spread beyond music, blending sports, politics, entertainment, as he worked with U.S. presidents and Hall of Fame athletes. A statement provided to Variety, his family said, it is with a heavy heart that the Avant Sarandos family announced the passing of Clarence Alexander Avant. The curvy film critic Carlo Renata weighs in. To be remembered for the exact moniker he was given for the Netflix documentary, The Black Godfather. Had it not been for Clarence Avant, we would not have had the teaming of Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis, and Janet Jackson for control. He's being remembered from everybody from Michelle and Barack Obama to our own Mayor Karen Bass. Uh, what is his legacy? His legacy is in anyone that needed a hand without him having to be present. He was called the Black Godfather because he would do his things in private, behind the scenes. He never wanted accolades for it. He never wanted to be praised in showers for it. He just did what he thought was right. His family goes on to say, in part, through his revolutionary business leadership, Clarence became affectionately known as the Black Godfather in the worlds of music, entertainment, politics, and sports.